Gentlemen, we're going to probably video training startup. Okay, so startup on a, on a glycol meter is pretty simple. It really isn't much. You want to verify your output. You want to make sure that it is within 20 feet. There's less than three elbows. You want to make sure that you get the pressure relief is set above the system pressure relief. If that's 50, this should be like 70, at least uh, 20 pounds. You want to make sure that you do have a dedicated 15 amp circuit for this. You can turn it on and you bump it and it keeps blowing the circuit, that's because you don't have enough amps. Uh, and make sure that it is mounted to the floor. Now, before you fill it up with glycol, be sure to clean out the contents of the tank. Sometimes, especially on new jobs, uh, this is a handy dandy trash can for a lot of people and there's just a lot of stuff that gets involved in there. Uh, even if it does get involved, there is a wine strainer, but the wine strainer will be clogged. It still is defeating your purpose, you're not getting anything. Make sure it's cleaned up before your, your glycol solution is added. And that you're above, you can see here that we're above the low level switch so we can, you guys will want to be, you know, 50 gallons or, or so clear. You should be, this is a translucent tank so you can see the level, which is very nice. Uh, and then the only thing other we want to make sure that we have is that you've got the proper thing based on the system and the engineer's spec for it. Uh, this one is a third horsepower, one gallon an hour pump. This is a 20 to 40 pressure range on the PSI things. You can verify that model number with our customer service reps. Very good.